So you can either be in Tokyo going to, you know, the craziest omakase of sushi, or you come to burger omakase. I picked the burger omakase. All day. <laughs>When it comes to knowing about restaurants and good food around the world, comedian and now cookbook author Eric Wareheim is a walking encyclopedia. So what impresses Jaime these days? I had to switch it up on him and do something special. To back me up, I brought my sous chef Christian along for the ride. Behold, the Burger Omakase tasting menu, a chef's choice of three burgers that represent three different eras in hamburger history. Let the voyage begin. Welcome, Burger Show, and welcome to our guest, Eric Wareheim. What's up? Today, it's Bistro de la Burger. You're gonna be our guinea pig. I love it. This is gonna be like a burger tasting menu. Ooh, beautiful. I haven't eaten in four days, so I'm ready to go hard, Perfect. bring the burgers inside, and experience anything you got. If you were to describe your burger palette, yes. what would it be? Right now, you know, I started, I grew up in Philadelphia. Okay. Big, you know, bar burgers, and I moved to LA and I got into the smash burger scene. Oh yeah. Like your Instagram literally is like my like map. Yes. Like, I have to I know that. where you eat. Like I don't I no longer look at food blogs. I just look at your Instagram because you wherever you're eating has to be good. It is. Well I also I I, <laughs> I call it top <laughs> food blog and I did it as a joke back, you know, when I started. I was like, I'm not doing comedy anymore. I'm just doing burgers. Pizza, sushi. But I love that. Now I mean, I'm like, I'm into it. You know? you, and you used to have Food Club. Yeah. What What's that about? Food Club was a show. Uh, we made one episode on YouTube. This is a big moment for Food Club. Uh, we're about to plaque Son of a Gun. This is what it's all about. We eat somewhere, we really enjoy it, and we present them with this plaque. And it was kind of like 10 years ago when the Michelin star system, people were kind of like hating on it oh, and yeah. being like, fuck this, these rules. Yeah. So we would roll in with like skipper hats on and suits and pretend that we would rate these restaurants as amateurs, but we would make little plaques. That being said, we, we have get something the... special for you. All right, I got my man right here. Wow. Voila, there we go. I'm gonna be very honest now that I have my captain's hat on. <laughs> So this is our first burger, and this is not your traditional burger. We're, we're going way back in time. We're going, I mean, you're a history buff. Yeah. We're going back to the port side town of Hamburg. Wow. In Germany. Ich spreche Deutsch, so Hamburg is, meine Familie kommt auf Süddeutschland. What he said. Watch the mic. Uh, this is romantic. Okay. Water soda. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. This is a 2021 tap. I appreciate it. Feels right. It just feels good. Thank this you. This is burger 1.0. No bun. Wow. Yeah, this is way before it was a handheld thing. Yeah. No frills. Chuck. We have our beef gravy hot. Wow. Boom. We got that oh. nice Maillard. We're going to grab a little bit more of this tallow. Now, this tallow... It, this is the secret to so many things, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean... Don't throw your fat away. And then I have potatoes right here. Some onions. I love how you're starting me with this. This seems like this would be the grand finale right? dish, but I'm like... Yeah, we'll get this nice and crispy. They have one more ingredient to this. Can you check the microwave for me, Christian? Check, Mike. This is smelling Boom. good. So tell Whoa. us about this. Wow, okay, this is uh, Foodheim. <laughs> Are you just gonna hold it for me here? I love it. <laughs> um, this is Foodheim. This is, uh, it's a culinary adventure. It's my brand new book. It's, it, it's the only book that you need. You can throw away all your cookbooks except for Alvin. It's just insane. I mean, look at this. You just open up to any page, fun, fun. You know what I'm saying? Is it how appropriate? That's why I think we're connected. We understand the portability. It's also like, oh, here's a schnitzel. What, what's this thing I hear about a, a tiny horse? There is a small horse chapter. Okay. That's very controversial. On the first page, I just mentioned small horses are for petting, not for eating. And that's a very simple philosophy. I know around the world, people have eaten horse meat. I have tried it. For Foodheim, it's just anything I, I love. And I love small horses, so it's in the book. It makes sense. Yeah. I mean, look, we can eat a lot of things. Let's just not eat small horses. <laughs> oh, 
I laughed so hard at your joke that I put out the candles. Oh, I got a guy for that. Christian! And then we're gonna grab this burger. Wow. Just like that. Oh, wow. Gravy. That is ooey gooey heaven right there. And then Christian, please finish it off. Oh. <laughs> Cheat is. Wow. Course number one, the Hamburg steak. Let me dive into this. Wow, it's beautiful. The gravy is, I'm almost mostly excited for this gravy. Because I love with gravy. gravy. is so good. <laughs> He's just giggling. <laughs> Listen, that is so good. It really does kind of like remind you of the Salisbury steak. It does. And I've had those frozen dinners. I've been, I've been, I was in college once. Dude. Totally. I mean, <laughs> but, look. The, but this is like gorgeous, man. Yeah, I mean, the burger comes from humble beginnings. It's a very important moment in yeah. hamburger history. I like that. I also think that same with wine. It's like you need to know the classic, the traditions yes. before you start doing modern stuff. And this is like, I agree. This is pre bun. Christian, doggy bag, please. Oh. I appreciate you. We're now settled into America, mm -hmm. and the burger, like we were saying, has to become handheld. In the early 1900s, someone put oh. that burger in between two buns. But when I think of the perfect burger, I, I'm thinking smash burgers. Mm -hmm. And also, if you think about it, like old school burger joints, they smash burgers. Yeah. What do you like about smash burgers? What I like about smash burgers is obviously that beautiful Maillard. Thank you, Christian. Appreciate it. Top you off. If I could get next time, if I could get this maybe 20 degrees cooler. Oh, okay, freezer it so is. I don't want to talk about it on a camera, but so I'm going with it right now. But in the future, Christian, get it cold. What I was going to answer about the smash burger is all the components need to be perfect. You need that squishy. You need that super crisp. Thank you, Christian. And then you need that unctuousness of a sauce or the oh, cheese. For it's, sure. like, it's like all those, this is three ounces. Yeah. Smashing some birds. Yes. I like to smash like them a little further on the edges. Oh, that's naughty. It's gonna get that lace. Yes, exactly. What you're doing is what I like. The thinner, the better, the really, really crisp on that, that beef lace is. Yeah, this is my version of the classic drive-in wow. burger, right? And then we're gonna hit it with some cheese. Hit you with some ketchup. So what do you think about the omakase tasting menu format so far? So far I'm loving it because I love going to my dining experience where you just come and sit down. You don't have to make any decisions. Um, I'm excited, intrigued. I don't know what's coming up next, but you have to trust your chef. I trust you guys. So, so far, so good. I even brought out the tweezers for you, bro. That's cool. That's a sign of respect. I'm like, I'm itching. I'm my, my food blogger and he's itching to get my phone. I'm just like, oh, I need to, to remember this. Wow. As a chef, I have to suggest that you eat this, this part first. Okay. Because that's where all the crispies are. First this bite. Is, I don't know. Have you, has this guy seen this? <laughs> this is insane. I, I mean, how classic is that? So you can either be in Tokyo going to, you know, the craziest omakase of sushi, or you come to burger omakase. I picked the burger omakase. All day. <laughs> <laughs> what are we thinking? What are the emotions happening right now? Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> It's everything. You want to get that crisp. It's juicy, but it's not like a gusher. Oh, I gotta let me go back in. Mm. It's already perfect. You ready for the third burger? I, no, I still need to work on this. <laughs> Let's let it finish. <laughs> we just hit you with nostalgia. Now we're gonna hit the modern Chef's Kiss. The new stuff. Food blogger, Chef Boyardee burger. So wow. check that out. A5 Miyazaki BMS 11. Jesus Christ. Which means, I don't even know so, those numbers. Yeah, BMS, I knew the first two things you said, but now I don't know what yeah, BMS is. Yeah, BMS is like the marbling number. Wow. 11 or 12 is the highest. And this is 11. It's like mostly fat. It's so hold, gorgeous. Hold. I'm trying to expand our burger horizons here. So what I have here is finely, finely chopped A5. This is luxurious. This is like, it's the first time I've ever seen this. What would this burger cost if this was at 
Well, this is a la carte. This is about $135 a pound. And this is about a half a pound. Talk about 70. This would cost us about 210 bucks at a restaurant. Amazing. So I got Hokkaido milk bread here. Wow. That we've uh, lightly toasted with beef butter. I'm adding a little smoked shoyu aioli. So this is like high-end ingredient from Japan. Nice. We fish scale with sukemono pickles, quick pickled cucumbers. Nice, a little acid there. Oh, acid. Luxurious. Sesame, some crunch. I like it. That looks insane, Look dude. At, oh my it, God. It, I'm gonna put this on top of the sukemono. Razor blade cut fried garlic. Scallions, you are our VIP guest. You are, yeah. we're doing everything soigné, which means Specifically perfect for you, the VIP. We would take notes on your likes or dislikes, what you didn't finish, what you finished. I love that. I love that service. That's pretty special. It's, you come back and you're like, oh, we're not gonna give you shiraku today because we know that you don't like cod jizz. Ex exactly. Like, Thank you. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Christian's like, I'll take it. What he said. So we're gonna lid wow. that. Wow. And then I'm gonna cut this. This is insane. I can't believe I get to eat this. So there you go. It. Wow. I'm gonna let you just All right. eat that, get in your elements. So burgers are already some one of my favorite things in the world. You know that, we all know that. That's why we're here. That's why it's called a burger show. A5, one of the most insane things I've ever had. Japan in general, the coolest place in the world. So that's what you, that's why, what I'm feeling right now. Okay. You put all those things into one. Also texture, I don't even have to eat this to know how much I love it. I'm just gonna look at it. I'm gonna eat it. It's I'm one good it. pat. It's a one damn good burger, right? Enjoy. Oui, oui, baguette. Oh my god. What are we thinking? Tell us the emotion. Okay. <laughs> it's like so, it's so rich and flavorful. Oh my god. It's really good. I also love how you only kind of grilled one side of the milk bread. Yeah. Because you have to have the texture. Yeah. When I saw you put the, the cucumbers in, I was like, Chef, that's a lot of cucumbers, but you need that. Because it's so rich. It's so rich. If yeah. you didn't have that layer of like pickled crunchiness, there's so much flavor going on, but it's not like, I think it's still, the, the beef is the star of the show, obviously. So thank you guys. You're welcome. I'm like a little I'm so emotional glad we got here. to do this for you because yeah. I did, I, I do know you are a true lover of food. So we wanted to show you our love by making you a burger drink just love. like this. Make sure to buy his book, Check it out. Let's go. Burger Good show, high. baby. Burger show. Burger show, baby. <laughs> <laughs>